everyone. This is a too much information TMI not for guys video. This is going to be a review on the Moon Cup or the Luna Cup or whatever name it goes by. It goes by many different names. Most of you by now should know what this is or have used it. Some of you might not know. This is for those of you obviously that don't know, haven't tried it. My first experience with this cup was after the quakes in five years ago, whatever. Uh, we had no water, you know, the earthquakes were pretty bad, um, lost power, lost water, and being on your period is quite hard. There's not really any way to clean up and no way to really dispose of anything, and so I was looking for a easy, a very quick and easy way to handle that stuff. And so the cup was suggested to me, they were giving them out for earthquake victims, and so I tried one and then the puppy that I had at the time ate it. So I had to buy another one myself. And um, now the thing is, is that they come in different sizes and I bleed really, really heavy. So I'm going to show you the size of the pad that I use. So this here, I have to use two of these at a time. Look at how thick that is. So this is a maternity pad and they come in 10 to a bag and I'll go through almost two bags in one period that lasts less than a week. That's how much I bleed. I bleed a lot. So when I wear these, I have to wear one and then I have to wear one overlapping it here, going all the way to the back. And I will still bleed so much that the blood will sit on top of this and it won't even have time to soak in. It'll just kind of puddle around and just pour off of it. It's really bad. So for me, I had to get the biggest size cup. Bigger size cup affects the way you feel it a lot differently because it's bigger. So this is the one that I ended up getting. This is the biggest size they have. And as you can see, it is quite big. I think this is a hundred mils. I'm not quite sure. I don't really remember, but um, it is pretty big and I can fill one of these in an hour. So I've heard about girls having these and they dump them out at the end of the day and I'm like at the end of the day <laughs> I have to dump it out every hour so you can cut the stem off it's made of like a soft kind of plastic and you it has little air holes at the top for suctioning reasons I don't know if you can see that because my camera is a piece of shit so it has those air holes at the top and it has a stem here for ease of pulling it out. You can cut the stem off. I leave the stem on because I don't want to have to dig all the way up in there. I just would rather just kind of be able to reach this easier. And what you do to put it on, because this goes around your cervix and it suctions up there. And so the blood directly falls into the cup and then you just kind of pull this out and it suctions off and then you dump it, wash it, and then put it back in. The way you put it in is you take it like this and you kind of fold it, you fold it like that and you stick it up inside and then you let go and it opens. And it might take a couple of tries because sometimes it'll feel like it's around your cervix, but it won't be. It'll be kind of like that and part of your cervix will be out or the suction won't be quite tight. So what you need to do is kind of give it a little tug and if you feel resistance, you'll know it's in there right. So with this, because it's so big, it hurts. I feel it all the time. With the smaller sizes, I'm told that you can't feel it. It's in there, you can just whatever. But because it's so big, it puts plesh, uh, pleasure. <laughs> it puts pressure on my bladder. And if I have to go to the toilet, I can't go to the toilet with this with this on because it actually kind of blocks my bladder a bit. So I have to pull it out, clean it out and all that. And here it really sucks because the bathrooms are separate from the room with a bathtub and the sink. So there's no sink. So I have to either go into a bathroom with a sink and then pull it out and then dump it and then clean it and then run to the toilet or pull it out, dump it in the toilet and just kind of hold it bloody and gross in one hand while I do my business and then go and run and clean it off. It's really awkward. So in this house, I don't really use it because that's just disgusting. So I have to use these big old fuckers. And 
when you lay down, there might be some sloshing and some leakage as well if you don't have it on completely tightly. You can't really tell when it's full. You have to kind of, you really, really have to know your own body. And if it's getting full, you'll start feeling a little bit like some moisture down there. And then you'll be like, oh shit, I have to go check. And then you go and you do a toilet paper wipe. And if there's blood in the toilet paper, then it needs to be changed. It takes some getting used to. Uh, I can't say I would recommend it over pads. I would definitely recommend it over a tampon. It just holds a lot more and it's, it's reusable. So, you know, you're, if you're worried about the environment and all that, it's much better to use one of these as opposed to just using tampons, throwing them away. And depending on where you are, this is maybe 30 to $50 or so. And it seems like a lot, but when you add up the cost of tampons, this is actually cheaper. And I guess it's the same basics go for this as they do with tampons with the having to check, with the having to get it up there right and all that junk. I don't know if you have problems with tampons falling out when you go to the toilet or pooing or not putting it in right. It's been a long time since I've used a tampon, but I just find pads much easier because then you could just bleed and not have to worry about, oh, I have this thing up but is it on there right? Did I overflow it already? You, you kind of can't really tell if you're a heavy bleeder like I am. I think that the cup would be really good for someone who has a normal period, who doesn't bleed too much, who can do a smaller size, and who can leave it on more than an hour without it overflowing. If you bleed really heavy like I do, it's probably not a good choice because it does hurt and you have to change it so often. You have accidents, you bleed all over, and it's just it's not a good, not a really good thing to do unless you're wearing a cute little outfit, of course, and you can't wear a big bulky underwear because as you can imagine, you put these on, two of these on with underwear and you're going to look like you have a dick or like you took a shit in your pants. So yeah, I can't really not, I can't leave the house when I'm on my period anyway, because I'm in so much pain. I can't even walk or stand for the first three days, but if I had to leave, there's no way I would wear anything even remotely tight because yeah, it would just look like a baby with a big old fucking diaper. And so that's when you would go for something like this. But then again, because I bleed so much, this is still not really safe if I'm going to be out longer than an hour. And I really don't feel like risking trying to stick my fingers up there and getting bloody and then having that blood smell on you when you're out about. So, uh, yeah. Do you guys have a moon cup? Have you ever tried it? Do you bleed lighter than me and have a moon cup? And if so, do you notice that it is different? It doesn't affect you peeing and you can go longer without having to empty it. I'm really curious to actually talk to somebody who has one of these and who doesn't fill it in an hour. That would be really interesting because I don't have any female friends, so I don't talk to anybody about things like this. And it's just, it, it makes life really hard when you bleed so much and I wish that you guys could see how big this damn thing actually was, but I have nothing to really compare it to, like a phone, I guess. I mean, I could almost, like, I could stick the end of the phone in it. So, yeah, it's, it's a pretty fucking big cup. And I guess I bleed abnormally, but there you have it. So the moon cup, it's all right. It's not great. It's better than tampons, not as good as pads. Might be better for you if you bleed less to wrap it up. So let me know what you think and if you guys have one of these and I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day and I'll see you next video.